In today's video, I'm going to show you how to format your cells in Google Sheets Mobile. So let's say you're working on a set of data and you just want to format yourselves to make your data look better or more presentable. Well, here's how to do it. So in my example data set right here, I want to turn this into some sort of table and I'm going to do that by formatting my cells. So first, what you're going to do is to select which cells you want to format. So I'm going to do that right here by selecting everything right there. Then go to the format tool at the top right here. Once you've done that, you have your format tools. And if you scroll down, you'll see format cell. If you select that, here you have your options and how you can format your cells by filling in some color for your cells or putting in a border. Now for the border, we have the different type of borders right here where you can just put in a border outside your data in the middle, at the side, at the top, it's totally up to you. And you have your border style as well. You can also do some conditional formatting and some alternating colors. So first let's try and put in a border around our data right here. What you're going to do would be to select which type of border you have from these options. Now I want to put a border around everything. So I'm going to select this one. Once you tap on it, you've already applied that border to your selected range. Now, if you want to change your border color, you can do so by just tapping on this right here. Once you do, you have the different colors that you can choose from. Once you tap on a color, you can have it in different shades at the bottom. So if I tap on this color right here, here are the different shades available to that color. And if I tap on the next one, it's going to be the same. Now, once you've chosen the type of color that you want for your border, just tap on it, then go back and tap on the type of border that you want. So I'm going to tap on border all again, and there you have it. So you really can't see it, but if I zoom in, I've applied that color to my data. So let's just zoom out and there you have it. Now, what if I want to fill in some colors for some of my cells? Let's say I want to highlight my Heather. I can do that by filling those cells with some color. So once I select the cells that I want to format or want to fill with color, I'm going to go to fill color right here, tap on it. Then the same thing, you have the different colors. Under each color are the different shades that again, you can choose from. Once you've chosen the one that you like, just tap on it and there you have it. Now, if you're not satisfied with the type of border that you have, you also have the different border styles. So if I tap on this arrow down, you'll be given these choices where you can have a thicker border or a different border altogether, like dashes or dots or double lines. Now, if let's say I want to choose this one, I'll have to go back to all borders again to tap on it to apply that border. But first, let's select everything so that we can apply that format. So we've selected a range. We have our border style. Now just tap on all borders. And there you have it. So again, if I zoom in, that is what it's going to look like. So now my data is already looking better. Now, what if I want to apply some alternating colors within my data itself, not including the Heather? All I have to do is to scroll down right here and select alternating colors. So if I tap on that, you have this different formatting styles that you can choose from. So we have our header and our footer right now. Our header is chosen. If we turn it off, our alternating colors will only include our body, not including the header. We also have the footer. So if we tap on both, you'll see that both top and bottom will be highlighted with a darker shade of the same color. But if we don't, then it will not. So we're going to stick to just with the header and the body. So this will be applied to only this range. Now we are going to reselect everything first right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's select that. Go back to format, scroll down, format cell, scroll down again and select alternating colors. So now we have applied to range. We have selected our range already. And now we are just going to select which formatting style we want to apply to our data. Now, I think I'm going to go with this one. 
if you're not a fan of that one you can just go back and see what it's going to look like like so and once you tap on the one that you like you're satisfied it's already applied to your data and there you have it that's how easy it is to format your cells in the google sheets mobile app thanks for watching if you found this video helpful do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos see you on the next one